I'm sitting in Nowhere Bar on 14th Street. It's dark and it's empty. Celso walks through the door. He's wearing a nice Calvin Klein blazer. He's got short, perfect hair. And we give each other a hug and he takes a seat at the stool next to me. I only met him the night before. All I knew about him was he's in town for like two more weeks and then he goes back to Sao Paulo, Brazil. And he sits down, we're talking, and I guess because of the language barrier, I find I have to distill my words into only their most fundamental pieces. I end up talking to Celso with this level of honesty that I rarely have, even with myself. I tell him, I want to learn how to feel comfortable in a relationship with somebody else. He says, why do you not feel comfortable? I say, I don't know. He says, I understand this. He says, he's Catholic. And I say, I'm Catholic too. And he says, really? What saints do you pray to? <laughs> I say, I'm not really Catholic. And we go uh, to this couch in the back behind a pinball machine and start to make out for a while. He's got this smell that I can't figure out what it is. It reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. So I'm, I'm sniffing his neck. I'm hoping he thinks it's like a cool American thing. And I realize it's makeup. I'm thinking about how hard it is for me to put on my public face. And I think about Celso literally putting on his public face every day. I think maybe this is someone I could trust. We spend like uh, every night of the next two weeks hanging out. And on his last night in town, I get us a room at the Marriott in downtown Brooklyn. The whole room is white, everything in the room is white. And we start to kiss and we take our clothes off. And I'm too scared to keep going. He says, that's okay, that happens to me sometimes too. And I feel all right. We sleep together, it's the first time I ever slept with a guy. It's great. In the morning, he's blow drying his hair in the mirror and I'm watching him. And he turns and he starts to blow dry my hair. And he runs his, his hands through comes like this nice wave. Maybe I learned how to take care of myself, but there's this like little piece that I can't do on my own. I need somebody else to do it. I know he's leaving today, but I gotta start somewhere. And I let him see me. And he turns off the hair dryer and he looks at me and he goes, wow. You are beautiful. That was five years ago. All these stories I've been telling happened years ago. I guess I've grown since then, but like, why do I still not know how to get close to anyone? Why am I not okay?